In order to be heard, we as brown people, the original people of this land, must be an advocate of change, a pillar of our community, a comunidad, a product of evolution, advancement, progress, and perseverance. For generations we have been undereducated, underprioritized, underserved, underrepresented, underprivileged, and under attack by the financial system on all levels. We must push forward moving in the same direction with one common goal to determine the destiny of our own brown body. We demand in our own stolen land, social status of equality, a right to generational wealth. And let's not forget reparations plus 174 years of interest. Long overdue, long side died and dated in the treaty day while the new bed. Remember, we all have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit to happiness. And the pursuit to happiness. Don't you let no one tell you it ain't what it is. I want to welcome everybody, all my people, all my people, to the Chicano Power of the Dollar. I want to welcome you to the Chicano Power of the Dollar. Today I'm going to hit you guys with uh, another part from basically uh, the first episode of Chicago Power Dollar where I explained what you got to do in order to start your business. Actually, what you got to do before you start your business as far as getting all your financial situations in order. And at the same time, uh, if your credit is, in, you know, lightweight, lightweight, then I explained how you can go and put yourself down as an authorized user so that you can raise your credit. That's kind of one of the easiest ways that you can do it. There's other ways, you know, this is one of the cheap ways that you can do it, cheap and cheaper ways, because that way you got to pay somebody way they can play with your credit, you feel me? And fuck your shit up. So there's an easier way to go about it, you feel what I'm saying? And um, once you start these businesses, though, at, this is what the next point is, is that uh, your business will usually start as a sole proprietorship. And if you're going to do that, at some point, you're going to feel like you want to start an LLC. Now, under an LLC, you can put many, many companies under one LLC. Uh, which is a holding company. You can put 10 of your LLCs under this one LLC. You feel what I'm saying? Or 10 DBAs under this LLC. You know what I mean? So uh, it, it, it's a way to protect you, protect your personal finances and all that type of shit. It separates it. You feel me? So you want to do that. And a holding company, like I said, you can put all your businesses under this one LLC. You know what I'm saying? And, um, then you want to, if you don't want to use your address, you can, you can go to physicaladdress.com and get a physical address. You know what I'm saying? You can also go to Ring Central and get yourself a business phone number. You know what I'm saying? With the recording and everything, they'll handle all your shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and these are some of the steps that you want to try to do. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's Ring Central. You also want to get, uh, you want to make sure you have a website. And when you get this website, you can get an email from that, from, from, uh, from your website, from when you buy your domain name from GoDaddy. Then what you do is when you set it with GoDaddy, uh, they'll also give you an email. That email, you can use that email basically uh, for your business. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and there'll be, for mine, it say Javier Garcia at beatdownrecords.com. You know what I'm saying? So that'd be my email. You feel me? So that's what you want to do. You want to have your own personal personalized email for your company, for your small business. You want to make sure while you're doing all this that you have a strong presence or at least a presence on social media, IG, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, and, uh, and a lot of other ones, Vine, whatever you can get on to get your shit out there. I'm saying, you know, on top of YouTube and all kinds of other platforms that they have uh, for you to be able to get your hustle. You feel me? If you are deciding to work with another partner and you're going to go in business with somebody else who's going 50-50 with you on everything, then you want to make sure that you guys have some kind of a business agreement, an operating agreement. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody knows their fucking place. You feel me? And know what they're getting out of what, what you're doing. Now, every business is going to have an EIN number. And you can go to the IRS and you can get your number for free. I mean, I think it's the Secretary of State. You go there and you can get your LLC there. And it's, it's a lot cheaper than going to a third party. You know what I'm saying? And you can get everything else there too. And because uh, they have a lot of shit. That, that they, they break down everything on that site. That you can go ahead and look at do your homework and figure out exactly uh, what works for your business. I don't know if you ever heard of a, a Duns and, and Bradstreet. You know what I'm saying? So you, it's called a Dunn's number. And this Dunn's number, I think they, I'm not sure if they changed that for the EIN number. I'm not too sure exactly what's going on right now. This, Like I said, this is when I was taking classes about three years ago, maybe actually about six years ago. So um, this is something that was, the, the Dunn number was something that was used still the last time when I was um, reading some books about it. 
and I was trying to do my businesses at Dun Number Store, but I think that the IRS got another way also that they utilize these Dun Number. But Dun Number gives you, uh, it's, it's, it's like another tax number, basically. You know what I'm saying? For for businesses to find out uh, your credentials and shit like that. You know what I mean? Uh, you want to also, there's also, it's called nav.com. It's like for like trade lines and shit like that. And other stuff that you can do once your business goes under. Let's say you want to uh, uh, um, do government contracts. You're going to need this nav. Dot com getting these numbers from that to be able to get these government contracts and shit like that depending on what kind of business you're doing you know what i'm saying so uh there's a lot of shit money when it comes down to starting your own business like i said you know a holding company though is like a conglomerate money you gonna you can have all your business under this shit it's a uh, more professional it's really safe and it, it's the best way to go about it if you really want to build you feel me you, as far as after that you trust fund and you just keep on moving up the ladder as far as your protection and a lot of other ways uh, that you can utilize the money that you'll be making uh, to make you more money. Now determining, you gotta determine it is a small business for you though. Yeah, or can you handle the motherfucking, the heat in the kitchen? You know what I'm saying? Can you deal with, with you know, uh, negative customers? Can you deal with uh, negative input? Can you deal with constructive criticism? You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna get a lot of all of these things. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes all at the same time. So you gotta be really resilient. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be really, you, you gotta be resistant money. You know what I'm saying? Why do we sit there when they throw shit at you? You just, you just bounce it off. You don't even trip. You keep moving forward because if you're getting it wrong, while you're making corrections, you're gonna get it right. You know what I'm saying? And you just always gonna like I, you know, once you fuck shit up, once your quality goes all the way down, it, it's it's, a, it's it takes a long time to to build your company up to a certain point as far as quality and everything else. You know, good customer service and all that. But you can lose all that shit overnight. You know what I'm saying? It's like anything. So make sure that. You know what I'm saying? You always want to stay up to par and make sure you have that good customer service with your people. You know what I'm saying? As you're moving on down this road and up, you feel me? Because like I said, one bad more that money can knock your whole shit down. And it'd be hard to rebuild your business again if you have a bad name or it's a bad rep or poor or garbage ass shit or you're getting over on shipping or anything that, you know what I'm saying? There's some dope things with do money. Also, you got to know, like I said before, I explained what bootstrapping was when you as a bootstrap business. You know I'm saying where well, you're going to use your own money. Because I personally feel if you're going to start a business money where you don't need a lot of cash flow, you got some family members or some people that are willing to break you off and you got a great idea and it's, uh, it's profitable. And it's profitable long term. And you got these people to come in. I would rather do that money than you go and try to get these these loans and uh, um, and borrow money and you know, and sell some of your shit, all to get your shit going, you know what I'm saying? You don't need a lot of money, money you start short, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these big companies, they do got minimum order quantities when it comes to these, uh, you know, these, uh, these, these wholesale uh, distribution companies. So they want you to order a lot, but if you fuck with them and you talk to them real tough, like you know what I'm saying in the cool conversation, some of these people really work with you, man, and you don't really have to, they'll, they'll fucking break down a little bit and they'll give you that quebrada and that you make, you know, a hundred instead of making five or a thousand, whatever their uh, MOQ is. So as long as you know that money, then like I said, there's, there's a lot of other ways, there's a lot of ways to skin the cat, my boy. So don't think that when you do things one way and it don't work out, don't think there's another way to do it because there's always another way to get shit done. When you're doing these businesses, when it's like you're going to have to outsource. Don't try to throw everything on yourself, my boy, because people try to do that shit and wear on their hat. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the fucking supervisor, I'm the boss, I'm the manager, I'm the employee, I'm the... Sometimes, and nothing wrong with bringing in a couple people. Eh? You might not be able to pay them what you really want, but there's people out there that are willing to work and watch you grow money because they know if, if they're dedicated and they're with you, they're going to grow with you, my boy. You know what I'm saying? And at a certain point, at some time, you know, they may want to start their own business and now they're in good standings with you and they built this relationship where you can also pass along some good resources that could uh, substantially uh, put them in a situation a lot faster than if they had to do it by themselves. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's about. You feel me with this whole business shit? Remember, you need a good marketing plan. You know what I'm saying? To detail exactly how you're gonna sell it, where you're gonna sell it, how you're gonna price your products, and who you're gonna sell it to. You know what I'm saying? And nowadays we got so many fucking platforms that there's a there's a multiple options or all. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the the floodgates are open for us to make our money. You feel me? So don't be afraid to start your own small business while you're working. You know what I'm saying? Get that shit going right now. Well, you still have these jobs and shit because you could build something in 10 years from now, uh, the money you were making from your job was, was, was fucking, was change. You know what I'm saying? So, if someone has fucking talent, you see them getting down, someone from the fan bam, man, put your guys' money together and, and, and bring this person's dream to life. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to have the next generation 
that are gonna be I have these, this money to, to, to make all this shit happen, money, and to keep this shit moving. And that's how we create generational wealth by, you know, you gotta know the star players in your communities and, and put some money in. There's a lot of vatos out there running around uh, wasting good talent. You know what I'm saying? Some smart ass minds, some good engineers, money. You know what I'm saying? Good engineers, they're creators. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and they're there and they're wasting their life in, in the hood. And I'm not saying that you can't do anything from the hood because from the hood, you know, you could blow up. All I'm saying is that they're in the hood doing nothing and we, we need to bring these people out. We gotta know what, what star players we have in our communities. You know what I'm saying? And push some motherfuckers out there so that we can make some shit happen, money. And you know what I'm saying? One blows up the next one and the next one and the next one we keep this shit flowing. Because there's gonna be homies that are gonna jump into everything within our communities. Football, basketball, rapping, uh, podcasting, this, that. And we always got to be there for our hands to the back them up and make sure they get to the next level, man. We, we got to stop all this fucking bullshit of, of everybody uh, competing or somebody speaking on somebody else or we got some punk ass shit to say or, or whatever it is, man. I'm just saying, it's, I know we're going to have that no matter what because you're always going to have bottles that ain't shit and don't got nothing else better to do. So you're going to have those bottles with the garbage ass comments. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, uh, fuck everybody, money. Start your business and get your fucking hustle on. You never know when you're gonna get hurt at work. You never know when they're gonna lay your monkey ass off. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna be on point, because when they lay you off, you wanna be chilling with a bunch of bananas, money, not giving a fuck. You feel me? So, like I said, Karnan, when you guys are in the mix right now and shit's going good and you have that extra feria, uh, don't be scared to start these businesses. Remember, when you start these businesses, money, you can't go on and showboat and get this big ass spot already. You know what I'm saying? You, profit is everything, money. When you barely starting off, profit is everything. You want to make sure that you're frugal as fuck with everything you're doing around you until you can afford it five times. You know what I'm saying? But the whole thing is you got to build first, my boy. Build. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you build before you start going money away in other places and then uh, you don't have the money to deal with the shit you really got to deal with. Or another option comes up or another opportunity. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, going to... Uh, help you advance in a, in a faster way, my boy, then you want to jump on that shit, but you don't got the funds for it. That's the whole, that's what I'm talking about. We gotta have that extra. You know what I'm saying? We gotta be uh, the shark tank in the community's money and be start putting money into our people. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You make sure that you got your distribution on point, that you got your manufacturers, your, your people that are putting your shit into production. You got all that shit already marked up, ready to go money. Then you go find your superstar, motherfucking management or supervisor money to come in and do shit the way you want them to do shit and the way you would do shit if you was right there you need like a fucking cuate almost you know what i'm saying it's going to follow shit to the team my boy and you're going to find these little motherfuckers at city colleges you know what i'm saying at uh, uh um community colleges you know what i'm saying and these small business classes management classes marketing classes and you want to grab these dudes you know what I'm saying? And these are going to be good people that you're going to be able to have in your business for a long time. They ain't going to manage that shit while you're over there starting another business. You know what I'm saying? Or, help, or even you can start your own app and partner up with somebody else in another business. And that's where it comes in where you have to get your operating agreement so that you, everybody knows their roles. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to have more than one or two people or three people in that shit, you want to make sure you get that and have that shit done for legal purposes and just down the road so that everything stays fair. When you're doing these businesses money, there's a lot of licensing permits, a lot of shit that you have to have in order. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that you're up to all ordinances and you're up to the you know city codes and all that kind of shit so that you never have no problems with getting shut down or look bad, you feel me, to, to the community or even uh, you know uh, any kind of uh, investors or whatnot. You, you don't wanna look bad money, so you wanna make sure uh, that you always do all your shit on a professional level, no matter what, you feel me? Don't uh, look for the loopholes and don't try to take the shortcuts. You know what I'm saying? Just do it the way it needs to get done so it's done right. And sometimes you might have to outsource and have the people that know what the fuck they're doing and get it done for you. As your business grows, you gotta understand that you gotta grow with it, money. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go through a lot of transitions in your social business. So you gotta be able to know how to cope and deal with all these things, money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I look forward to see and hope that a lot of you guys uh, start making that decision into starting your own business now. I hope that uh, this in some type of way uh, is uh, information that I help you um, understand more about what you want to do if you want to do it as far as starting a business or hopefully it's enlightened you to uh, maybe not taking that next step. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, but I hope that in any kind of way at all that it was informative. You know what I'm saying? And I thank you for your time and uh, I'm going to hit you guys with the next one.